quite comprehensive rundown of the different, many different barriers there are to solar power. Now, I, I wonder if, like me, you were struck by an extraordinary shot in the recent BBC prison drama Time. Now, this was shot around Runcorn in the northwest, and there was a drone shot from high up in, in a working class area with just huge numbers of solar panels on all the roofs. And I can't think of anywhere that's anything like that in London. The statistics show we are. The, the lowest region for solar power installations. Now, I hear what you say about these other barriers, but I'm raising heritage specifically because I've been trying to take a look at conservation areas. We've got about a 1,000 of them here, and if you look at the boroughs, there's a real correlation with a lack of solar. Kensington and Chelsea are 70% conservation areas and just 0.3% of households there have solar. It's the lowest number of any local authority in the country. And like you say, national laws don't actually prevent solar in conservation areas, but local policies can be different, more tricky. There can be an idea that solar panels are some kind of blot on the landscape and some genuine opposition. So I think it's time to change the narrative, generate more demand, get people won over to how great and hopeful solar panels really look. And I think we can take the lead from City Hall, like we do with the lovely Let's Do London campaign at the moment. I think we need a campaign on solar. Would you con consider doing that? I'm more than happy, Chair, to meet with the member. Uh, I think the passion with which she talks about this is quite inspiring, actually. Mm. Uh, I'm more than happy to organise for a meeting uh, uh, with um, the relevant team to discuss what we can do to encourage the take-up of more solar, solar, solar energy. It's one of the things we need to do to get more renewables being used in uh, London. She'll be aware about uh, the, the progress we've had in relation to the energy company. Um, but, Chair, that's a really good idea. Can we take that away and uh, uh, pick your brains about what we can do to encourage greater take-up, but also be, be more positive exactly. in relation to yeah. this? That's really encouraging, and I, you know, like I, I do really want a campaign. I want you to take up my ideas. Now, if this were me, I would call it lend us your roofs, because the thing is, solar panels don't cause any permanent damage. And when we're right to be cherishing buildings that are like 100 and 200 years old, I think they could donate themselves for just a couple of decades to this emergency. I think a campaign like this to get whole streets whole neighbourhoods committed to lend their roofs to this emergency would be a brilliant thing. Now, I'm just pitching you my idea here, and you said you want to discuss it with me further. I, I genuinely think we should be starting a real debate about this in London and changing this narrative, and well, I hope we can meet. I, we, Chair, we're going to take forward uh, the meeting with the member. You know, we have been working with boroughs who've been really good. I mean, some boroughs have been right to their residents. Actually, my borough, Wandsworth, has been working with us mm. in City Hall to encourage community take-up. And the, the, basically, the economies of scale mean the more people on the street who want to take up solar power, the, the cheaper it is. And so I'm more than happy, Chair, as ever, to work with the member about uh, what we can do to, to benefit Londoners. And this is a really good area we can work together. Great. On. Really pleased about that. Yeah, the whole streets thing, community energy companies can get involved. Anyway, yes, thank you very much, Chair. Thank I'm you. out of time.